Hi, welcome everyone. I'm recording this voiceover on Saturday night. <laughs> Didn't go anywhere. I thought, oh, I only have one day left, and let me just finish the video. In this video, I'm gonna paint another gouache painting because I thought that you guys like it. I just bought a new gouache paint and they are in tubes. I thought it is better to buy this one because my jelly gouache, they always dry and it was hard for me to paint with that. In this video, I'm gonna paint one of Ghibli Sin and this one is from Ariete, The Secret World of Ariete. This is one of my favorite from Ghibli. I think the pictures are so beautiful. Also, the story is very touching and also beautiful. <laughs> I was planning to sketch just a rough sketch but then I was carried away and I was sketching everything almost in detail and they are so beautiful really I realized when I finish sketching I didn't finish 100% of it only probably 80% and I was like this is crazy, a lot of details that they put into this um, scene and I knew it from the beginning that it's gonna take me a while to finish this painting <laughs> but I, t I told myself okay this is the second time I painted Ghibli scene the first one it was from Kiki's delivery and it was really small uh, picture the, but this one is way more complicated there are so many objects laying around on her bed there are so many ornaments plants fruits and I don't know what else colors you know so I was a bit overwhelmed at the beginning but then I was like let's take little by little yeah but it was actually really fun a bit tiring obviously because of the details and my brush it was i didn't have a small one for watercolor for water based um uh, medium so i only have a big one so the next day i bought a small brush for watercolor and it was perfect this is the one that I bought and it was really nice. There is something that I learned from making this painting. Um, it's like master study because I copy, I repaint uh, the same picture for me to understand um, every detail that they put into this scene and you get to understand more than just by looking at it you know it is like doing a master study now i can understand why studio ghibli's movie are very captivating uh, beautiful dreamy and out of this world it is I think because of the, um, the color, the vibrant color that they use and also um, the depth that they put into it, even though it is a um, cartoon, but it does look fantastic. I clean my palette and uh, the water in the middle of the painting process because I like it to be clean and I don't like the color to be muddy and I think this is the good practice, good habit that we have to do every single time. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was saying that 
it's because they know how to create such um, so much details but those details are necessary those details are for the sake of you know like making it beautiful it's it's not unnecessary details like sometimes i don't know how to explain but sometimes when you're when you see uh, the painting a drawing or whatever um sometimes you feel there are when there is so many detail or so much details you feel like it loses the beauty in it i don't know for me it is like that but then a certain people i guess certain artists they have the power <laughs> they uh, they they know how to make the details look so beautiful they put a lot of thing into the canvas but it looks so uh, synchronized harmonized uh, what am i talking about uh, har harmonizing or what anyway it does look fantastic and beautiful i use a lot of fantastic words today um so yeah i'm rambling let me pause so yeah if you are kind enough you can write me a comment let me know if you like this kind of video or what kind of video do you like more um this week i've been pretty busy um next week i have more than one painting oil painting that i have to work on Jin is meowing all the time what happened girl um yeah so next week i'm gonna post an oil painting video because i have to work on that i have one commission and i am working in a new collection right now like my actually it's gonna be my first collection it will be a trial and error for the first painting um, if I like it I will make um, pretty much the same theme a uh, few more three or four more painting but then if not I will try different kind of theme I will let you know soon so I cannot believe that this video it's been eight minutes and I feel like I'm not talking about anything um, and that that's one of the reason why I I made the script beforehand um, when I have different kind of video like a vlog style more like vlog like the usual one um, I normally have a topic where I wrote the script beforehand so then I can just uh, read it and I can get to the point per point and I can control exactly how long I have to deliver one point you know but then this one is more uh, chill and relax oh my hands my fingers it was a bit painful also please let me know if uh, which one is your favorite Ghibli's movie I think a lot of people love Howl Moving Castle, right? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard a lot. I love it as well, um, but I love the music more than uh, the story itself. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? So this video, I took it from my dining room. <laughs> because it was saturday in the morning and i was like running out of time and i really want to post um video i want to be more um on time on schedule no i always on time and schedule but i sometimes skip uh, the week because um yes let's face it everyone it is not a piece of cake making <laughs> a vlog uh, moreover like, I mean art vlog um, specifically because I'm doing art vlog I don't know about other vlog I'm sure it will take so long as well I'm really sorry that I couldn't finish it guys I just didn't have enough time so I was thinking you know what life is not perfect so 
the deadline is here, here, here tomorrow. I have to post it, and sometimes exporting the video takes some time as well, and I don't want to risk it. So here we go. This is the almost finished painting from me. Uh, <laughs> I promise I will finish it, and I will show it to you in the next video. I. Do apologize. Um, thank you very much for being here with me and listening to me and supporting me. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like it. Thank you very much and have a great day ahead. Take care.